Morning everyone. Welcome to another edition of Bushcraft Outback. As you can see, I'm getting ready to go camping. Last week we talked a little bit about your gear and your fire making equipment, if you will. Today I wanted to talk to you about the backpack and how to pack it. Um, everybody wants to pack a little bit differently. I'm just going to tell you about my experience that um, of staying organized. There's nothing worse than being unorganized when you go camping. So last year, I bought this pack. And it's a pack that I have coveted for a while. I wanted this pack for a long time, but couldn't afford it. I uh, always wanted a pack that was made really well and something I could pass down to uh, my family members, something that was gonna last forever. This one's from Frost River. And um, it's not a gear review. It's just a pack that uh, I thought would be very useful for me. Um, and it had places that I could stick things. I could put my knives in the pouches on the side. I can stick my ax in the front, in the groove in the front. Um, but one thing I discovered was the more stuff you carry in it, the heavier it gets. And if you pack it, you got to carry it. So some of these things I do not carry in my pack um, just because I keep this pack about 10 pounds because by the time you put your uh, uh, small gear that you're going to need for every night, uh, I keep this pack in my tent or at my feet or by my cot or my hammock. And uh, when I reach out in the middle of the night, I want to be able to find everything, whether it's dark or not in this pack so I keep everything in the same locations so that even if it was pitch black dark I could find it but um, it had a, a couple of big pouches on the front which one I keep as a tool kit it's just where I keep my Gerber I keep a small fishing kit I keep my headlamp um, so all the things that I need as far as tools are in this pouch then in this pouch I have nothing but a steel cup uh, that I boil my water, that I drink my coffee, and inside that I keep a small fire kit so when I get ready to light a fire or make a fire, I know where that's at. Um, I do carry some things on the pack um, that are lightweight, practical. Um, I carry a pair of gloves, I carry a can opener, I carry safety pins. On this particular trip, I'm carrying a mosquito um, repellent on it um, but again by the time I put my charging system in here um, maybe some food snacks uh, water bottle it can get uh, a little weighty and this is sort of like my possibles bag um, like the old timers used to carry so it's just kind of my uh, it sets like I said at my feet uh, keep my my personal stuff in there that I'm going to need during the night and yet, if I wanted to scoop this thing up and take a hike down the trail, uh, it wouldn't be any problem at all. Um, so the pack that you see behind me is my everyday carry uh, at work. Uh, it's actually my lunch box, but it's organized exactly the same way. So you might ask yourself, uh, then what do you do with the rest of your gear? Well, that's why I made the trunk that you see behind me. It had a... Uh, got a set of wheels on it I actually got um, stakes on the side that I can kind of pull out and um, wheel it back and forth to my camp and uh, that's where I keep all the other gear like lanterns uh, tents and that kind of stuff but then I discovered the rigid system um, it's actually my son's discovery and I just kind of copycat it off of him um, and it's not um, very bushcrafty but it is practical. And uh, not all of my trips are bushcraft trips. Some of them are just camping trips with my wife or my grandkids. So uh, this particular trip is just gonna be, it's just gonna keep me organized. I have one box on the top in this system. That is my kitchen uh, cooking system. And I keep my pots and my pans and uh, coffee pot. Uh, this trip, I actually have a French press I'm taking. Um, my second box is for my clothes, uh, which has got a seal all the way around it, waterproof. I don't have to worry about spiders getting in. And the last 
box is uh, actually my um, tent systems and my tarps and whatever we're going to need for the trip. But I can get to either one of those and uh, and I know what where everything is. And uh, my son actually told me the best way to be organized is to not get unorganized. Genius. So that's what I did. Um, I just continued to evolve my camping kits and um, realize what I'm going to take on indivi individual trips. And of course, if I go deep into the bush um, on a um, lone trip, then I'll pack this pack a little bit heavier and it can kind of swell up and I can put a bedroll on the bottom of it and, um, and I can carry that kind of stuff out there with me. So whether you're packing light or you're packing heavy, pack smart and uh, put everything where you know you can get to it and you'll enjoy your camp so much better. And get out there and go camping and experience what God has created for us. So in the meantime, until the next video, make sure you keep God first.